Good morning, day traders, and welcome to Market Minute, a hedge fund trader's technical analysis of the stock market for Thursday, March 31st, 2022. Let's get after it. So today, end of the month, right? Also end of the quarter. So we need to be a little bit cautious that we're not getting trapped into sort of any big fund positioning here as they try to balance their books into quarter end. We've had a little bit of muted slash bearish action here overnight in Germany, London, Hong Kong, right? So we do expect a little bit, maybe more of a downside bias here this morning. Crude is getting absolutely hammered, now down five and a half percent on reports that the US is going to be receiving releasing its strategic reserve over the next little bit. Now we'll see how aggressively they decide to actually um, release those barrels or how aggressively they decide to sort of make that or how aggressive they want to flood the market. But for now, it's just a rumor. So we're going to be a little bit cautious until that gets confirmed. Definitely uh, have cases in either direction or have sort of a, an opportunity to trade things in either direction. And we want to see where this market sets up. Bearish bias kind of starts under this 456.40. We've got room towards that 455, 453.20, and then eventually that 450 zone. Bulls need to reclaim over that 462.30. And if they give a strong volume, certainly have room towards that 465 area. Similar narrative here on QQQ, when we have a little bit of a range, although maybe a slightly more bearish bias here than the SPY, increasing daily volume on maybe not the strongest of daily candles. If this thing can break down under that 365 area, then Q certainly has a lot of room down towards that 360 mark, which is sort of this March 25th open. If we're able to break down, right, we need to see that strong volume, strong candle profile for any move there. And we expect some resistance along the way at 364, 362, 20, and then eventually that 360 mark. Bull case happens above that 372 and opens up that path towards, say, that 375, 376 area, basically looking for points of contact along this trend line here as our areas of resistance apple giving us sort of that medium volume kind of indecision there yesterday which certainly creates that play towards all-time highs or keeps that sort of in, in play if we're able to break out above that 180 certainly has a lot of room up towards say that 181 182 40 and then eventually that sort of 183 area need to be a little bit cautious here though right because we're kind of in the middle of this range so by the time it wants to break out or break down you know, maybe the momentum has sort of disappeared. Now, if we are able to get some sort of bearish breakdown under this 175.80, yeah, there starts to get quite a bit of room here down, but I'm not sure if this is going to be the easiest setup for us here today on the downside. Tesla's a really nice look here after yesterday's inside bar. Inside bar kind of gives us an opportunity, especially on such low volume, to play this in either direction, right? So a little low volume consolidation doesn't definitely doesn't tell us weak sellers or weak buyers, right? So we have an opportunity to see that momentum step in and sort of crush that relative weakness that we've seen here at this sort of 1100 barrier. If we're able to lose this 1083, then Tesla's got about $10 down towards that 1073 and then that 1060 zone before trying to fill that gap and then really exaggerated move down towards that 1040, 1026 area. If we're able to get that bullish breakout, it needs to happen over that 1120. And like we said previously, we kind of have a little bit of space towards that 1136. So we can afford to be a little bit patient here on any breakout up and over. Bull case begins right above that 1120 and has room towards that 1172, right? Maybe even that 1200 mark if that volume becomes really, really impressive. Microsoft looks like my favorite candidate here to the upside with a really nice low volume kind of consolidation there day yesterday and then nice little baby gap up here this morning if we're able to sort of clear that 317 barrier on volume then microsoft starts to move towards that 319 321 and then 323 20 areas with some conviction right really nice little breakout here on that increasing daily volume little day of catching its breath there yesterday while everything else was sort of selling off and kind of consolidating whereas microsoft sort of still sort of finished with those that bullish control so if we're able to get that bullish momentum if the markets look strong in general then microsoft's definitely going to be in play with no real realistic bearish setup here today amd really good look here to the downside if markets really want to sell off so Bearish engulfing candle, bearish engulfing on volume, not quite outlier, but definitely pushing close to it. So if we're able to get a breakdown under this 116.60, I think there's a lot of room down towards, say, that 116, right, 115, and then eventually that 110 barrier. A little bit of chop, right, definitely some kind of levels we need to be cautious of, but if that risk reward profile is good and those volume bars look strong, we should have a lot of conviction here to run this thing down. And then NVIDIA, right, kind of giving us a similar story, albeit maybe not as strong. 
if it can break down under that 275 mark we certainly do have some levels at that like say 273 272 270 areas but need to be a little bit cautious that that isn't increasing daily volume we've done nothing to really invalidate this sort of march 24th high volume breakout so maybe more one to watch if things set up but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it and if nvidia is starting to break down then it should give us an opportunity to sort of catch a look here in amd and then last but not least here, Facebook, another setup that may be more bullish than bearish here, this AM, if we're able to break out over that 233.50, right, so, uh, sorry, above this 231.30, we've got room towards, say, that 233.50, and then eventually have some space up towards sort of that 240 barrier. Really like this low volume pullback here after a really nice trend breakout. So we'd like to see this sort of continuation and, and that strength step in and go, right, for any sort of move up. Again, right, we don't want to fight the indexes here. So if the indexes are red, we're probably going to ignore this and sort of look for other moves. So that's why I plan on dominating today's action. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to follow my day trades live, you can start your free seven day trial at dtrtrading.com. Otherwise, have yourselves a fantastic session and talk to you all tomorrow for the next market minute.